Hey guys, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by. Today we are going to do some Dr. Pepper ribs. So, first with uh, the barbecue sauce, you want to take your favorite barbecue sauce, which I did some uh, Sweet Baby Ray's, and I took a two liter uh, Dr. Pepper and I boiled that down to one liter. Then I added the whole bottle of barbecue sauce, every bit of it, and then boiled it down till it was completely thick to the thickness of barbecue sauce. And then I put it back in the bottle and we've got very sweet barbecue sauce. So uh, this isn't the 100% set way to do it, but uh, I've seen a lot of people uh, making the barbecue sauce and uh, this is the way I'm doing it so we'll, we'll see how it how it goes and I'm, I'm also gonna braise the ribs in Dr. Pepper just straight Dr. Pepper when I'm uh, cooking it in the Dutch oven but first I'm going to brown the ribs on my little happy yummy stove which I did a mod so let me uh, show you what I got here see I made a little hole in the middle these little stripes just weren't quite doing it for the fire coming up for the charcoal i mean it was doing it but it was doing it slow so i noticed my uh oh, what do they call that uh charcoal chimney that's what it is so uh yeah i noticed the charcoal chimney had really big round holes compared to this and uh so I might even, you know, make the hole a little bit bigger, but we're gonna just try it like this, see if it, it speeds up the process for uh, heating up the charcoal. Okay, and for this part, I'm gonna be using uh, whole uh, lump charcoal. This is a Master Chef brand. And then I'm gonna throw in some hickory chunks once that's heated all the way through. But uh, so first, I'm gonna start a man fire, a real fire, and then I'm gonna throw in a fire starter from that. So let's uh, reposition. Actually, let's just put this here. I'm gonna put that there. All right. Okay, we've got our fire. And I'm gonna take a fire starter, start it from here, and put it inside the Happy Yummy stove and see how much better we can get that to work. take a minute to fully light so let's go ahead and take a look at the weather it is beautiful it's been nice and cool 70 or under for the temperature lately so it's just been great uh, it's uh, <laughs> so far it has been a northwestern summer of old because the last few years it has been getting really really hot and the fire the fires the uh, forest fires have just been getting worse so yeah all right I'll get right back with you okay the modification I did on this happy yammy stove turned out fantastic it's only been 15 minutes and those uh, coals are white hot so I'm gonna try to push them down a bit now I'm gonna add some hickory. Now I'm going to put my little cast iron grill on there. Got it nice and smoky. Now I guess I got to go grab the ribs. Okay, I think we got her preheated. All right, so the last time I went to Costco, 
they had a, a flavor of La Grill that I have not seen in the grocery store. It's wild whiskey smoked barbecue. So that's what we're going to be using today. So all we're trying to do here is uh, get some smoke flavor from that hickory smoke and uh, get uh, some brown on this. Okay, we got the ribs nicely uh, browned and smoked, so we're going to put some uh, Dr. Pepper on there. Keep it moist. I got a little bit of those coals on the bottom, and then I got some coals on the top. So let me grab my lid lifter here. Okay, so I'm gonna let that go for, oh, I'm gonna keep an eye on it until the charcoal goes down and I'm gonna add some charcoal to this and then I'm gonna switch to the whole, this briquettes because uh, I like it because you can count it like on this. So, well, the lowest temperature setting I've had as far as the chart goes is 325. Uh, it doesn't go any lower than that so I just kind of made up a number uh, like for 350 I did uh, seven on the bottom 14 on the top but today I'm just going to do five on the bottom 10 on the top once I do the charcoal switch hey y'all I'm back so in about 20 minutes 15 minutes I'm gonna add some more charcoals at that point I think it'll be about an hour and a half that it's cooking so we're somewhere's at an hour or so right now but let's go ahead and take a look to show you what it looks like oh yeah and uh, very fatty ribs I'm thinking about taking some of this fat out and maybe put some more Dr. Pepper in there. So I might do that. And uh, so not quite tender yet. We've got another good hour or two of cooking to do, but it's cooking right along. Okay, so uh, I was going to do a video on Father's Day weekend, but it just didn't pan out. So I uh, found a beer, Father's Day beer. I'll, I'll celebrate it now. So happy Father's Day to my father, uh, my my uh, siblings that, have, uh, that are fathers, and all my friends out there, all you guys, happy Father's Day. So I thought this beer would be kind of fitting because it's been around. This is an old Milwaukee American beer. It's been around since 1934 and that's right around the time that my dad was born uh, actually 35 so I thought this would be fitting so I may have tried an old Milwaukee and and way in the past but I don't remember it I don't remember what it tastes like so I'm gonna give it a shot all right let's give her a Give her a taste. Mm. 
Not bad. Doesn't taste overly strong. Nice and refreshing. Cheers. Okay, I got all the juices out of there. So I'm gonna add some more Dr. Pepper now. So it has a nice sweet braising liquid. Pour that over everything there. Okay, and if it starts filling up with fat again, I'll, I'll take it out again and add more Dr. Pepper. But for now, we're gonna let these cook for about an hour. Here, we got some more uh, charcoal doing its thing there, so we'll be adding that soon. All right, it has been two and a half hours. It's gonna go three hours, but uh, you know, it cooked a little, uh, the temperature was a little higher than I thought it would be. I did less briquettes, but either way, I think it turned out great. Uh, it smells wonderful back here. You can just smell hickory smoked meat back here. And, uh, but I think they're done. They were kind of already falling, starting to look really tender. The last time I checked so uh, let's have a look let's give a peek whoa and then I shifted around the ribs so uh, it would brown on parts that weren't browned and now they're nicely browned and oh my god they are so tender look at that so I'm going to uh, plate these up sauce them up and uh, I'm going to put some of this uh, Dr. Pepper barbecue sauce, which is uh, a two liter of uh, Dr. Pepper that's been uh, rendered down to a concentrate. And then I added this with a, a bottle of Sweet Baby Ray's. So anyway, I will be right back and we'll go give it a taste. All right, there they are. Fall off the bone. Mm. Can definitely taste the hickory. I can taste the barbecue. Uh, I can taste the Dr. Pepper concentrate in the barbecue sauce. These are pretty legit. Mm. Cheers. All right. Okay, that is it. I'm shooting for my next video to be Canada Day, which is uh, July 1st. That's uh, where we uh, celebrate our independence and being Canada, being Canadian, I mean. It's a lot like uh, 4th of July, lots of barbecues, uh, lots of activities going on. So, uh, anywho, uh, you guys have, anywho, that sounds horrible. Uh, anyhow, uh, you guys have a great week great weekend and uh i'm gonna shoot for seeing you guys on uh canada day weekend so i will hopefully see you guys then thanks for watching thanks for stopping by and i will see you guys on the next one take care bye <music>